I want to turn now to uh, the jobs, jobs, jobs uh, commitment, and yet how many British Columbians have been told that getting a job is their path out of poverty? Unfortunately, the sad truth is, is that thousands of full-time workers are to toiling at $10.25 an hour, the current minimum wage. They find themselves thousands of dollars short at reaching even the BC poverty line, Honorable Speaker. They may even have only part-time work, many are underemployed, they, uh, they have, might have real potential and can't get a break to get ahead. And every day, Honorable Speaker, it gets worse. Their wage is stagnant, but the cost of living keeps going up. And of course, with this liberal plan, uh, they're going to go and reach into their pockets some more with hydro increases, ICBC, on and on fees and other costs increasing. It keeps getting worse. BC minimum wage is determined by the provincial government and on an ad hoc basis. The last increase was years ago, and that only happened after nearly a decade-long fight by the BC labor movement and the public. Uh, BC workers are again falling behind, and this BC budget will hurt these workers even more. There are, are more than 120,000 British Columbians earning minimum wage. The picture of a minimum wage worker in BC is probably different than you would expect, than most people would expect. They aren't all teenagers living on their parents' basements or working for pocket money. They are mothers and fathers, students, uh, seniors. In fact, 47% are older than 25. 63% of, of people working for minimum wage are women, and 8% are older than 55. In other words, there are many minimum wage workers who are trying to support families or who don't have the ability to retire. And just how does this Liberal government think that they can afford the increases to Hydro and ICBC and all the other fees that this government has now imposed on them while this government focuses like a laser beam of light on $236 million tax break for the highest 2% of wage earners in British Columbia? Honorable Speaker. Highest in British Columbia. Wow, what a jiggery pokery plan that is.